Hey what's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. In this one we'll be ranking the top 5 strongest supports in Paladins. These healers are dominating the meta right now in 2023, and you should try them out if you're looking for a strong character to be the backbone of your team. As always, this list is just my opinion, so feel free to let me know who you think the best supports are in the comment section down below. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Number 5, Ray. In the number 5 spot we have Ray, a recently buffed champion who is great in double support comps. Ray has some of the most utility out of any support in the game, and she's uniquely the only champion in the game who can provide ultimate charge to her teammates. By using her spirit link or the card refreshing break, Ray can pump her teammates full of ultimate charge and give them a significant advantage over the enemy team. Ray can also provide damage reduction in several different ways. Her envelop reduces all burst damage to a flat 275 damage, making her great against champions like Bomb King and Drogos. Her ultimate provides total damage immunity for Ray and her linked teammate, which is really powerful. And she has two cards which provide regular damage reduction through different means. Ray is excellent when paired with a second support because of all the utility she provides. Because of her unique ability to grant ult charge, she's amazing with supports that have powerful ultimates like Furia and Grok. Those supports also make up for the inconsistencies with her healing, since Ray's bounces have limited range and can also be very buggy at times. It's actually because of those inconsistencies that Ray doesn't rank higher on this list. Ray tends to struggle on maps that are too spread out or have lots of walls, like Timbermill or Dawnforge. Her envelop also gets countered by many of the fast firing hitscans in the game, like Koga and Talus. Despite these weaknesses, Ray is a powerhouse of a support in Season 6, and earns the number 5 spot on this list. Number 4 Genos at number 4 we have Genos, who used to dominate the meta before his recent nerfs. Genos would have ranked number 1 before the anniversary update, but since then he's been chilling as a powerful, but not overpowered, support. Genos is one of two different supports who can reliably heal people through walls, giving him tremendous utility on maps like Dawnforge which have a lot of cover. Once he marks someone, it stays with them for a long time, giving him some pretty impressive consistency. These two features combined make Genos one of the best healers in the game. Genos is great at keeping his team alive, but he's also nefarious at giving the enemies a tough time. If he wants to doom an enemy to death, he can use Void Grip, which allows him to trap an enemy in the sky for a few seconds. This ability forces enemies to use their movement or defensive abilities to stay alive, and if they don't have either of them available, they usually meet a gruesome fate. Genos also has one of the most reliable movement abilities in the support class. Stellar Wind lets him run around like a victor, but with the added benefit of giving him third person view. This can actually let him see around cover without putting himself in danger, and it can be a great tool for gathering information or getting away from a fight. And of course, we can't talk about Genos without discussing his satisfying ultimate, at least when it works. Through Time and Space lets him summon a massive ray of doom that's capable of one-shotting anyone who's not a tank or hasn't bulked up on Haven. It's unreliable since enemies will often just walk out of it, but a crafty Genos player can still manage to get some incredible value out of this ultimate. Overall, Genos is one of the most reliable supports in Paladins who's great at churning out healing numbers and keeping his team alive. So Genos takes the number 4 spot on this list. Number 3 Lilith. Lilith is arguably the hardest support on this list, and she is quite underrated in the current meta. But in the hands of a good player, Lilith is easily one of the best supports in Paladins. Lilith provides some of the most powerful concentrated healing in the game when using her Hex and Swarm on the same target, and is capable of making Inara and Nyx almost immortal due to their abilities that grant increased healing. Lilith is also one of the best hybrid supports in the game because her swarms deal tremendous amounts of damage. When Lilith puts a fully charged swarm on point, she gives her tank some of the best healing in the game while also forcing the enemy tank to sustain hundreds of damage per second if they want to contest. This damage really adds up, and can sometimes deal thousands of damage to a target before they finally die. Lilith is also one of the hardest supports to kill, thanks to her high health pool and impressive self-sustain. Lilith's Hex provides her with a few hundred healing per second, and she can reach tank levels of HP with the card Blood Cannon in her build. Even though she drains blood health to use her abilities, she's still one of the toughest supports to kill. And that's not even mentioning how powerful her ultimate is. When Lilith ults, she's nigh unstoppable, since her ultimate gives her crazy blood health regen, reveals all the enemies to her, and grants true lifesteal to her teammates. It obfuscates the enemy's vision, grants her improved travel distance on her movement ability, and gives her damage reduction while casting it. Her ultimate honestly does a little bit of everything, and it has really good uptime when you buy morale boost. 
The only weakness Lilith has is her consistency. She struggles to reliably heal mobile champions without her hex, and there's only one hex to go around. Playing Lilith well requires excellent management of her abilities, and I believe this inconvenience is why so many people shy away from playing her. Champions like Genos and Grover are just easier, but that doesn't mean that Lilith isn't extremely powerful. So Lilith gracefully floats her way into the number three spot on this list. Number two, Furia. Coming in at number two, we have Furia, one of the most devastating supports in Paladins who is insanely overtuned right now. I'm gonna cut to the chase and talk about Furia's talent Cherish up first, because this talent got overbuffed through the frickin' roof. In the Midnight Masquerade update, Furious Cherish got reworked to heal for 15% of the target's maximum health on top of its base healing, which is just insane. Furia has the best single target healing in the game now, and she can regularly give bursts of healing past 2 or even 3,000 healing on different tanks. On top of that, Furia has some of the best damage in the support class. She's renowned for being a formidable damage machine, dealing high damage with her gunblade and stunning people with her beam. Exterminate is still feared as one of the quickest ways to kill someone as a support, but even without that talent, Furia deals incredible amounts of damage and can defend herself extremely well. Furia also has the best ultimate in the support class, if not the entire game. Furia's ultimate provides all nearby teammates with a 30% movement speed and damage increase, giving her team a huge leg up in defeating the enemy team. It also grants her damage immunity while casting it as an added bonus. Furia's ultimate can single-handedly change the course of a team fight, as long as her team is there to capitalize on it. The only thing keeping Furia from reaching number one, in my opinion, is that she's not very consistent at keeping multiple teammates alive. Cherish can easily full heal any champion in the game, but she can only heal one teammate at a time every three seconds. If multiple teammates need healing in a short amount of time, she tends to struggle. Plus, Cherish is bound to get a nerf with the next update, further pulling her away from that number one spot. But Furia is still a tremendously strong support who can carry her team, and so she deserves the number two spot on this list. Before we get to the number one spot, I want to go over two honorable mentions who are great options in niche circumstances. Pip is a generally powerful support right now in Left Uncountered, as he has some of the best healing output in the game and decent damage to boot. Combat Medic does pretty absurd levels of healing, but it's also one of the most skill-dependent talents in the support class. Compared to just about every other support in the game who has some form of auto-aim heal, Combat Medic comes off as pretty unreliable. And indeed, when trying to heal fast targets, Pip tends to struggle. Pip also doesn't make it onto this list because of the controller meta. Controller players have a much easier time nailing people with headshots than keyboard and mouse players, and tend to favor champions like Koga, Talus, Lex, and Vivian. Pip has one of the easiest head hitboxes to hit in the game, making him exceptionally vulnerable to just about every hitscan out there. Pip's powerful healing and fun kit earn him an honorable mention, but he does not deserve an official ranking on this list. The next support who I want to give an honorable mention to is Grok. Grok is an extremely fun and goofy support who's excellent in some niche circumstances. Grok is great at healing multiple tanks with Totemic Ward, since he provides powerful area healing and incredible movement speed buffs with his totems. He's also a good hybrid support, since he gets to dish out tons of damage while his totems are busy healing people on the ground. Grok can also become one of the best damage champions in the game when playing Maelstrom against a grouped up comp with deployables. To top it all off, Grok has one of the best ultimates in the game, since it powers up his team with healing and movement speed, debuffs the enemy team with damage and slows, and grants him flight and crowd control immunity. Grok has a lot going for him, but he's too much of a specialist to earn an official ranking on this list. He needs a specific team comp to work well, and is often paired with a second support so he can really pop off. But when he works, oh boy does he work. So, Grok earns a very honorable mention, but falls short of ranking on this list. Number 1. Grover in the number one spot we have Grover, who is the most reliable support in Paladins. Grover can potentially heal his entire team all at the same time, with the only requirement being that they have to be standing somewhat close to him. Grover doesn't have to look at people to heal them, and is the only other support in the game besides Genos who can consistently heal through walls. Grover can passively heal people just by existing, and while that passive healing is incredibly small, it still adds up over time. Grover also has two powerful burst heals with the talent Rampant Blooming. On top of his already powerful Blossom, Grover gains a second mini Blossom when he uses his Vine. These two bursts can almost full heal a squishy champion, and can easily keep multiple teammates alive. Something unique about Grover is that he receives 100% of the healing he dishes out. Grover always gets affected by every single healing ability he uses, giving him the best self-sustain in the game. Not to mention, Grover has a really good damage reduction card that can last almost half the match as long as you're consistently using Blossom, and he has the best movement ability in the support class. 
Grover has an easy and well-known tech which allows him to triple the distance he travels with his vine. By hovering over a piece of terrain you can vine to with your reticle, releasing the vine button, then quickly flicking to a piece of terrain you can't vine to, Grover can travel across the map in seconds. This tech is pretty insane, and further adds to his survivability. Grover also has the best healing ultimate in the game. Whirlwind heals Grover and all nearby teammates for 2500 healing per second, which can easily save Grover's team from powerful ultimates and combos. The ultimate can be cancelled early if you no longer need the healing, which refunds a bit of ultimate charge. With morale boost, Grover's ultimate has the best uptime out of any ultimate in the support class. The last great thing about Grover is that he's another really good hybrid support. He constantly deals damage throughout the match, since he doesn't have any long cast times or channel animations outside of his ultimate. He also has a crippling axe that's extremely spammable and stops enemy movement abilities in their tracks. He can weave it in between regular attacks for a pretty decent burst combo, increasing his damage output even further. Overall, Grover is the most consistent and reliable support in Paladins. He's got great single target healing, the best area of effect healing, incredible utility, an excellent ultimate, good damage, and the best movement ability and self-sustain in the support class. So, Grover earns the title of the best support in Paladins for Season 6. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Who do you think is the best support in Paladins? Let me know in the comment section down below. While you're down there, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like this from me. You should also check out my Twitch channel and Discord server, both of which are linked in the description. And if you want to support this channel, then consider making your next crystal purchase over at my Nexus by going to nexus.gg slash andrewchicken. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching, I will see you all next time, peace out.